Hello everyone. Today I want to teach you how to implement hydrostatic pressure in your ANSYS fluent project. At first I want to describe what is a hydrostatic pressure and why you should use it. Okay. As you can see here I have a rectangle domain and uh, the height of this domain is h and the width of is width of and the width of the domain is l. If uh, the ratio of the h or l is not negligible and and the height is uh, large the, according to l you can't ignore the hydrostatic pressure because uh, the effect of the gravity is large and you should consider this effect in your project uh, the equation used in the hydrostatic pressure is uh, as you can see here the gradient of pressure is equal to rho cross g cross h that h is the height of your domain and the rho is your density uh, and g is the gravitational uh, acceleration okay as you can see here your problem have some boundary condition if your problem is a container and you, your boundaries are all walls then you don't need to use these considerations in your project but if you have an open, uh, open boundaries, for example, at least in this case I have an uh, alpha band, alpha pressure, uh, and uh, I, I don't use uh, the um, pressure gradient as, a, for example, zero pressure gradient to atmosphere, because if I use the zero gradient or uh, each gradient, it's not important uh, what's the value of it. Uh, you should you have uh, a reverse flow in the outlet due to the Bernoulli equation. You can see that you have a large reverse flow and your um, problem is go to wrong uh, results. Okay, uh, for this case, you should go to ANSYS, open uh, fluent. Uh, Go to geometry, new design molar, normal to the xy plane, go to sketching, draw a rectangle, go to dimensions, and for example, this is 14.5, and this one is, is not important. Was September 20. Okay. Uh, click on uh, no. Go to concepts. A sketch from sketch. Uh, from a sketch. Click one edge of the sketch. Click apply. Click on generate. Yes, my domain is generated. Close the design modeler. Go to mesh. normal to the domain okay go to mesh the mesh set is not important in this project because i want to just show you how to implement the high safety feature but for a roughly good uh, mesh i change the sizing to medium okay generate mesh As I said before, if your if your problem is just a container that, for example, you have input here and not output, or uh, the all the, um, the boundaries are walls, and you don't want to uh, consider the output different pressure, for example, or another boundaries, uh, you don't need to do this uh, that I uh, do here. But uh, if your problem, for example, is your the C. For example, and you should uh, implement, for example, velocity here and alpha pressure here. Uh, you should consider because if you don't uh, consider this uh, pressure gradient at the uh, at the alpha boundary, uh, you have reverse flow in the alpha, and your problem go wrong. Uh, for this case, I click on the edge section, edge and 
uh, inlet oops inlet okay and here as an outlet okay uh, and update it to go to fluent transfer was successful close the mesh go to setup There's no important uh, what's the setting of the setup. I just uh, want to show you how we. Uh, I just want to show you what is the setting of the uh, fluent. Okay. At the first step in general tab, you should uh, you should click on gravity and. Uh, uh, enter minus 9.81 as a meter per square meters uh, per square excuse me meter per square seconds uh, and uh, if you turn on the gravity it doesn't mean that uh, you have a preset gravity in your domain because your problem is running after you enter all of the things here after the second iteration your gravity enter to your uh, problem but uh, at the first iteration, you has you have no gravity, and this makes your problem run because uh, if you have uh, if you have no alphabet gradient for your uh, your problem, uh, go wrong at the second uh, second iteration and later. But but if you have a project gradient at the alphabet boundary, your problem goes wrong if uh, you implement the high circuit pressure at the initialization point uh, because your uh, problem is uh, initial value problem and boundary value problem. Uh, at the this state, you should go to uh, user defined function. So you should define the high circuit pressure in your domain. You go to custom field function. And I wanted to show you now. The UDF file that I write before for another pro for another project. Uh, as you can see here, yes, is the UDF form and the profile of the pressure is as I, as I write it here. I enter the uh, profile here. Uh, one one thousand no. 145 145 triple zero minus row row cross g is 9.81 cross and uh, the mesh y coordinates yes I declare that the y is the coordinate of the mesh mesh nodes, and uh, your function is uh, and your and your function uh, calculate the pressure at the each node, and you should enter this equation for this problem. I enter a name, for example, my pressure. Yes, define it. Close it and go to materials because I select the density of the meshes. Don't open. Go to phone database. For example, I want to choose water because uh, the highest pressure is. Uh, Occur in a uh, water very large rather than air. Uh, coffee and cross, cross, water. Okay, go to cell zone, surface body, material, air, water. Okay, boundary conditions, go to inlet is not important here, but I enter it. Let's make sure you can see it. 
go to assets yes here i should enter my udf file that the profile of the alpha feature is declared before go to udf or user defined tab functions interpreted i uh, i wrote it uh, as what i wanted interpret yes it's interpreted close it for example if i uh, go to outlet change to outlet exposure okay go to initialization now i want to initialize it the hybrid go to patch this was this is the important uh, part of this body that go to patch click on pressure and uh, click on surface body that this is your domain and uh, click on use field function and my pressure that i defined in as a custom field function click on patch yes your problem is patched uh, if you go to graphics and contours you can see that uh, as a function by pressure as an outlet if you click on display uh, no no in the interior service body you click on display yes you can see that you have a uh, gradient pressure gradient here and uh, the value is carpool if you go to xy plot and change the plot direction to the y direction create a stretch pressure at the output boundary and click on save and plot you can see that the profile is here but if you pay attention a lot more at the uh, diagram you can see that position is here and the side pressure is here and uh, this is the height of the uh, domain and this is the pressure and if you rotate this uh, and if you rotate this uh, diagram you can uh, see a shape like this okay if you enjoyed this tutorial and it is helpful for you please like share and comment under this video and don't forget to subscribe us.